visits. We visited obviously Steve Otter's course today, as you saw, in the, or not today, but earlier this month in the pictures. I uh, had a nice visit with CRT uh, Car Graphics, formerly Arizona Chemical. Uh, met with CJB Industries, DuPont, and staff. Um, they're all doing pretty well. So um, I don't know if you want to talk about CRT. Yeah, I've had a, uh, we've been doing a lot of work with CRT, and I think actually somebody mentioned this to me today about rallying GDOT and our resources that we have. But we have had some obstacles with CRT graphics and their location. I don't remember, I don't really know where CRT graphics where they're located. They're located off at 84 at corner 84 in Clay Road. They were once Arizona Chemical and they're now CRT. Um, they are doing some intersection improvements there, so we're helping them make connections with CSX Transportation. We've helped them make connections with Georgia Department of Transportation on that design to help overcome some questions that they have. Um, and working with the Georgia Department of Economic Development on that, but um, hopefully we'll start to see that move along and should have some answers uh, this week on helping them. So, Alright, and then um, some expansion projects, Project Well we're continuing to work with. Um, this one's moving on pretty nicely actually. You know, we would be working to get some infrastructure to an existing industry for expansion they're wanting to do. Um, and and that'll be about $8 million capital investment, about 40, 50 new jobs. Uh, we're hoping to get some state funding for the infrastructure improvements. Uh, and we have gotten all the information to uh, the grant writer, so hopefully she's going to submit that by the end of September. Hopefully we can get something going here soon for one group of funding. So that was exciting. And one thing I forgot to add to the agenda is Isaiah signage. Um, one thing I got tasked with doing when, uh, before Adam left, and this is something uh, Mr. Bill Holland, Georgia Petroleum, wanted to do over uh, and Isaiah City Industrial Park has add a sign on the corner of James P. Rogers and Madison Highway uh, for the existing industries that are down James P. Rogers because he's saying, you know, they get a lot of customers that can't find it when they're back there. You have Hertz Rental back there, you have UPS, uh, U.S. Press, Max Bath, Georgia Petroleum, and a few others back there, Langdale Fuels right there. Um, so he got a petition, all the industries back there signed, saying they would like a, a sign like this on the corner of the highway. So this is the rendering we come up with with Session Sign Company. Um, there actually be eight logo placards there for the companies. So each company will have two, it'll be facing kind of a long way, so you can see it coming from north or south. Um, so that's the rendering we got. I'm in the process of uh, I'm working with the city and county to make sure all the permitting and location, all that's going to be okay with them. Uh, we have to do sur a survey uh, with the engineer to make sure we're not putting them over a water sewer line or gas line or anything like that. So I'm in the process of getting a survey done on the area and, um, and getting that done. So that's what I got. And one thing we did discuss in talking about the location of that, I guess, is where those crate myrtles are. Yes. Which need to be cut back closely, by the way, anyway. Um, <clears throat> is landscaping the side yes we irrigation potentially if they want it lit you know we can go solar and do it all you know, but, sure um, that's one thing they yeah yeah and i do have a meeting with the city arbors because before you cut down the tree you have to meet with them and about a tree <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but maybe we could clean them up or relocate them or something so um, i do have a meeting with them but yeah we'll, we'll so one of the things we would like is if you'll talk about the estimate on how much it costs. Yes. We'd like the board to move forward um, and approve the sign. So talk about that. Yeah, the estimate on the signage is um, just under forty-eight hundred dollars to install, manufacture everything, and the companies will actually pay for their own signs on either side. And that's forty dollars a piece. So they would pay eighty bucks to have their sign up there, their logo, and everything. But that's everything, but not counting landscaping, that's just to put the sign up there. I haven't gotten a quote on landscaping and all that, right? So. We don't have to vote on that. Do we feel like we have other locations where we need to do that, or is this one pretty unique? I think this one's pretty unique. I mean, there's no, there's not really, I mean, there's an Azalea West 
there is one entering the park kind of like that. It's kind of similar. And then once you get to the end of Commerce Drive there, there's another one showing where Smith Road and go to those. So uh, that would be the only other one, I think. But that one's already there. So. This um, one's unique in that you kind of have a side road that comes yeah. out the back yeah. and then out onto um, a major highway. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I think they're interested in having this. Because normally all of our other ones are signs that are right at the entrance of the park and it shows that this is our park and you can walk through. Um, this one is kind of out there on its own, separated from that main entrance. Yeah, yeah and this is something I think can be good, good for us to do for our existing industries. They, they've expressed interest in it and I think it would make them happy. So. Okay. That concludes my Henry, the director's report? Yeah, 